All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to go ahead and show you how to change a picture on your Google Chromecast. Now, the best part is you can choose your favorite picture just like that on your Google Chromecast in order to use it the full potential, okay? Now, you can change this way or you can change the pictures with your phone and with the Chromecast itself as well. First, we're going to show you how you can do it by using your Chromecast itself. And later on, we will show you how you can do it by using your phone. OK, so stay tuned with this video to know how you can do it. Now, first of all, to do it with your Chromecast, the first work you have to do, just come to your home page and then go to settings. Now, scroll down to your system and then scroll down to your ambient mood. OK, just go ahead and open it up. And now here's the part, okay? Now you can start with your Google Photos, which only supports when you use your smart device. However, you can choose Art Gallery and Experimental if you want, okay? Now if you open up the Art Gallery, it is gonna give you a few different, you know, criteria or catalog of your pictures. Now you can, of course, use Fine Art, Art or Space, Straight Art, or captured on pixel okay and also you can choose experimental which is a low bandwidth mode and uh, which is also available for your pictures and down here there's there are the more settings like your weather time device information personal photo data and also you can choose others option like portrait google photos personal photos and the slideshow speed now slideshow what it actually does if you want to change your pictures let's say for one picture to another with five seconds you can choose five seconds it started with five to five minutes or you know it goes 10 minutes as well i didn't see that so this is how you can choose this time if you want to switch back and forth from one photo to another so this is how you can do the work if you want to use your Chromecast itself. Now let's go ahead and look at the ways to do the work with the smart device. All right, guys, now you can do exactly the same thing by using your iPhone or your Android. OK, now if you want to do that, make sure to have a Google Home application installed on your device for being able to do this process. You can download this application either from the Play Store or the App Store, depending on what device you're currently using. After you have just downloaded the Google Home app, just go ahead and just tap to open it. And then you're going to see your Chromecast will be found in your Google Home applications. Once you've found it up, just go ahead and tap it on. And here you will see the surface will come just like this on your device. Now simply go ahead and tap on the settings and then it is going to give you this option which is the device features called ambient mode. Go ahead and tap on there and then you're going to see your the same settings that we have just seen from our Google Chromecast. Now here what you're going to do we're going to choose the Google Photos okay. Now if you want to choose the Google Photos from here you have to tap on there and then you're going to see your Google Photos right inside of your Google Photos. OK, now make sure to mark this on if you want to just uh, get it synced to your uh, Google Chromecast. And right afterward, tap back here, now scroll down and you have to choose an option called personal photo curations. Now, here's the things, guys, if you want to choose all album, what's going to happen to you, your all the pictures will be displayed on your Google Chromecast. However, if you choose live album only, then you're going to see all the pictures that you have just selected from your Google Photos. Now, this is what you can do. And the next things, well, last but not least things, you also can choose the time show speed. Well, you can do it from five seconds to 10 minutes, just like the way we have seen on that Chromecast as well. Now, after you have just set this all up, after that, now let's go ahead and take a look at the Google Chromecast to see whether we're getting the pictures displayed on here or not. As you guys can see, now the pictures are same and we are now just, you know, watching it right here and it is working perfectly fine without even giving you any trouble, okay? So this is what you can do if you want to set up your favorite pictures with your Google Chromecast and this is the ways of doing this. Hope this video is useful for you. If you think so, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to get more useful video content for your Google Chromecast. Thanks for watching and talk to you later.